because the, the traffic here is a bit of a mess pretty much oh, yeah. everywhere everywhere people drive like left and right all the time without warning it pretty scary <laughs> Okay, let's go. Uh, my name is Pierre. I'm from France and I've been living in Taiwan for 11 months now. Hi, I'm Ted. I'm from the States. I've been in Taiwan for about 10 years. My name is Agata. I'm from Poland. I've been here in Taiwan for eight months now this time, but this is my third time here. Our main question, how did Taiwan change you? I'm trying to enjoy the good weather while it lasts because it doesn't last very long, way more than in other countries. Other than that, I think I've become a bit more humble with mm. other people like I can realize like you you don't have to show a lot but you, you have to share a lot more than in other countries like it had, Taiwan had me share way more than, of what I have to other to other people like what like just like moments or meals or or anything if you have the 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 way to offer people mm. things it's a pleasure to, to do it way more in other countries you offer a lot more when you can uh, Taiwan's changed me because it's given me the opportunity to Lots of things that I really never imagined, like come to this kind of festival, teach yoga, make smoothies for everybody, and just kind of explore different things, meet people from around the world. Also, just being in Taiwan, people have been like really friendly and open, so it's kind of made me a more trusting and generous person in that process. Thank you, Taiwan. And um, I think that Taiwan offers an incredible opportunity for reinvention and it allows you to become a better person, a better human being, and really explore what you want to do with yourself and with your life. The first time I came here, it was a very transformative month. I traveled all around the, the island and it made me realize a lot of, a lot of different things. And it made me um, become a writer. I'm writing my first book right now. I'm actually wow. really close to the very end. I'm hoping to to publish it next year. And also I'm being way more careful on the road now because the, the traffic here is a bit of a mess pretty much oh, yeah. everywhere, everywhere. People drive like left and right all the time without warning it. Pretty scary. <laughs> Did anything happen to you? Actually, me and my friend had an accident uh, two months ago when uh, a, a truck just cut in front of us on the on the on the back on the back. Lane. It was my, my first accident ever, so it was quite the experience, to be honest. First accident ever? Yes, never fell for, from, never had a car accident, never had bike accidents. So it was wow, it's interesting because you've traveled to how many countries? 50, 52, 52, 52 countries, 52. and it is first accident in Taiwan. Yeah, in Taiwan, Taiwan. Mamma mia, nice experience. Yao <laughs> Duanquan. It's been an incredible journey and Taiwan plays such an important role in my life so I'm very grateful. I what is your book about? Uh, so it's a traveling memoir that started with my first trip to Taiwan Wow! and then I traveled um, around the US, I did an internship in New York mm -hmm. in the meantime and then I moved to Southeast Asia for a few months. Yeah. Um, I circled back to Taiwan again and then I wanted to actually move here but then um, my passport got stolen so I had to go back oh. to Poland so there was a um, yeah, there were some things, unpredictable things that yeah. happened, but that made me wait a little bit longer to be able to finally move here. What made me even more grateful for the fact that I can actually be here now. Nice, yeah. and will be available in Chinese? The book? No, it's in English. No, no I'm Guys, learning sorry. Chinese. I'm book learning how you Chinese. Hi, Mei. Hi, Mei. Maybe one day. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Hi, my name is Steven. I'm from France and I've been in Taiwan for 11 months now. Hi, my name is Isabella. I'm from Poland. I'm in Taiwan already for around four years. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm from Italy and I've been in Taiwan for more than three years now. Today we had a beautiful class together in front of the sea. How did Taiwan change you? Well, I started, uh, well, three years ago, I got a job interview back in Italy from Taiwan. Said, okay, two weeks and I will leave Italy and I will go to Taiwan. So that was pretty random. And it was my first uh, experience in an Asian country. I ended up in Pingdong. So wow. <laughs> I didn't know anything about uh, yeah. Pingdong. Taiwan changed me in the fact that sometimes now, in France, like, I think it's not that much in the culture to uh, pay for uh, other people's bills. But uh, here, like, there will be times where, like, for example, my friend will invite me, and then the next time he will be, yeah, sure, you will invite me next time, and then we see each other again, and then I will pay for him. 
and then we'll, like and then it would be his turn and then my turn so I think that's kind of new for me. And how Taiwan changed me? Well, look behind us, we are in a beautiful Fulong beach. We are part of an ocean yoga sound festival. And I'm really glad that I have a chance to find this yoga community here. It's a very unique place and I'm so grateful that I have a chance to be here, to live here. Uh, my name is Drew. I've well, been living in Taiwan uh, about seven years. I'm from Southern California, next to Los Angeles, a place called Rancho Cucamonga. Oh yeah, interesting, sounds interesting. I think uh, I've become more like open to new ideas because where I come from in Southern California, it's very, it's the suburbs, right? So being in Taiwan, there's so many foreigners, right? So like hear their culture, I get to listen to their stories and I learn a lot from them. Um, I think also moving to Taiwan, I've become more like relaxed, more chill because Taiwan's so convenient, you know? Oh yeah. And the Taiwanese people, they're very curious. So I've become more curious as well. Taiwanese people, they're so curious. They want to ask you so many questions, right? In America, you have these conversations with people, but it's just like a formality. You just chat. But uh, in Taiwan, they're genuinely curious and they want to know about you. So it kind of opened me up to want to know more about every person that I meet as well. Thank you so much. Boom. We finished. Thank you so much. Bye bye.